I'm easily fascinated. I'm feeling so creative. It's your boy Stevie, I'm a planet Earth native. I'm enjoying all the moments cause it's such a thrill living. And I'm not sure if you notice, listen up, we're still spinning. Ah, what is good? Yo, welcome. Good morning. We're here, we're out here, and it's still spinning. Yo, my energy's maxed out. What's up? Is this your first podcast? Actually, and those that are listening to the podcast for a little bit now, the daily ones, we're on video today. And I'm not just any video, bro. I'm in that 4K. I was going to put my phone up there. Even though I think the phone actually does iPhone X's 4K, but I couldn't even find the little phone clip. So I got my camera rocking. Don't get used to this. I'm trying it out on a Monday because I had that extra energy, but I was like, you know what? I'll throw the camera on, do a little bit extra editing, and we're good. So we'll see. So those have been that whoa, those that have been asking for the video podcast, it's up today. Go check that out. And if you do like it, I need you to comment and let me know because it's a lot of extra work than just recording my sound volume, hitting post, and that's it. Because the video I got to post production, you get it. Anyway, what is good? My energy is maxed out. Like I said, everything feels amazing. I'm the people I've been talking to, the clients that I'm working with, it's just, I think that's what's happening is that I'm helping them and it's, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm getting better at coaching. And, um, like when I hear their goals and people that are trying to max out their life, it's just that shared inspiration that gets me super hype. And, uh, also I know I get super hype when I'm jumping, I'm not jumping because my hamstring, I'm healing that up. So when I'm not jumping, it's not really exerting my energy. My body's used to going a hundred. And so I haven't had one of those like a hundred percent exhaustive days. So it's just like ready to move. It's like, say you're, uh, in the primal stages of earth when you're chasing after lions or running away from them, whatever, that fight or flight. When you're in that fight mode to the max, then you go into that flight mode or, or whatever, like recovery versus uh, action, I guess I'm going to say. And I haven't really been that going that hard in the gym. But what I have been doing is something little every day. So I've been working on my friggin' toes to get the arches of my foot strong because jumping, you need strong ass feet. Our toes should be like all spread out. If you're listening to the video podcast, which is a new update, you like your my fingers are spreading. And so like if you watch, actually, I really like those guys on Move You uh, on the Instagram. They have a YouTube as well. They talk a lot about all these little detail things. So I'm working on that, working on my hips, working on my back, and I'm probably going to invest in a massage therapist. I've talked to a few different trainers now, and my hips are so tight that it's almost impossible for me to stretch myself. So investing in myself, investing in my health, which is very important. I'm going to do find a massage therapist. Um, I have a few recommendations. Get those hips worked on, broken up, so I can get flexible enough or move enough, more enough mobility that I can keep maintaining it by myself. Where is this podcast going? I don't know, but you can feel it. You can feel the energy. It's on Monday. We're going to plan it out. I haven't been planning that well, but I have been super productive lately. The only thing I'm behind on is these YouTube videos, which is hence why the video's up. I don't know if anybody's going to watch this because my algorithm's only dunking, but I have a lot of videos to do. I We took so much footage at Dunk Camp. I didn't vlog very much. I had other people filming. I wanted to be in the moment. And last year was way too much footage. footage. It was stressful. So I have the low rim video with T-Dub that I'm super pumped about. The first time I ever met him, if you haven't seen my Instagram by now, I met the legendary T-Dub himself. And it was surreal to say the least. I have some crazy footage of the very first time I spoke with him. It was it was awesome. And then I, I increased my vert. So I'm going to post a video about analyzing the, a lot that I learned about my takeoff because even though I increased my vert from last year, last year, the actual attempts, my footwork was terrible, not terrible, but I, I learned a lot compared to when I go for a ball. Simply put, I stay way taller and I, I was trying to do that, but I didn't realize how much I was collapsing on my takeoff. So I think I can even jump even better next time I do a vert tech, but my jumps are getting really well. I also think that that same technique will help my dribble dunks. And other than that, I want to do, um, a video about analyzing the windmill dunk and why I think it's the easiest dunk to do, mainly because your center of mass goes higher when you pump your arms down. If you're watching the video podcast, once again, I'm doing a windmill motion. So yeah, I got a lot of videos on the works. I feel like those are going to be super valuable if you're a dunk fan and you're living that dunk life to keep your technique going um, and also see the legend himself. Okay. And other than that, back on the grind, haven't been dunking soon, but as soon as I'm back in the gym, I don't know. You should follow my Instagram if you want to know what I do daily because I post something there every single day of what I do. And the last thing I want to talk about is what it feels like, how the, my body feels like the metaphor for all this energy and all the 
progress you make is that I'm trying to get the most lean I can be just because it's a goal of mine, but also I think it's the best way I can to be healthy, the best way I can jump the best. And it feels like the more I do every day, like a little bit of bird dogs, like for your back, those little muscles, a little bit of hips, a little bit of isometrics, get that blood flow in there. And when I do the isometrics for my hamstring, um, and just that uh, you hold that position where it's like flexing your hamstring, I could, I'm starting to feel exactly what muscle it's hitting and isometrics are like suck mentally. Like I hate just holding a position, like a plank for 45 seconds to a minute. So I'm pushing my mental side so tough and making it as tough as I can. Cause I know that's a weakness. I'm basically working on all my weaknesses and in the gym, all I do is these things that burn like crazy and it feels like it's keeping my body always in that burning state. So if you think of your metabolism and your skin and your blood is like a little bit of like burning instead of just like extremes of like highs and lows. I have, I do that still when I go dunk and then I'll recover, but it's like, I I burn it at least a little bit every day. Like keep that fire burning, keep it really churning. And we're keeping that burning motivated, which is morning. And so that burning feeling also keeps my blood flow and I, it, pu- it pushes my heart rate a little bit. And then at night, I'm also sleeping better. I slept really good last night. I had a dream that I was in New York, that I, ca- I met all my friends in New York and everyone there was <laughs> actually, they were all going super hard of their goals that it was like insane. Like there was like buses I had to catch at this minute and they left with like an, the exact minute. So they get there. I don't even know. And I almost missed the bus. And then everybody was like ic- talking like this extremely fast and extremely motivated. And I think that's just what's been on my mind. But if I got to say anything before we get to freaking seven minutes already, start your Monday strong, do the little things. It gets, the only thing that happens to me is I get overwhelmed with all the different things I want to do, write them down, do whatever you got to do, or just have your priorities start. Just get a little pit going, whatever, but it feels so good to just make a tiny bit of progress. Keep it all going. You're making progress. We're in this. We got a 4k freaking podcast now. Maybe I'll do this daily. That's tough, but let's, uh, all right, have a good one. Toodaloo. Stay tuned for YouTube videos. Please let me know if you like the video podcast or you're just cool with the audio because I don't want to do a ton of work for nothing. All right. Have a good Monday. Stay friggin' active. Toodaloo.